what I'm saying? Sure. We have a dope panel tonight, man. I'm the founder of Fashion Meets Music. We have 4,000 members. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys tap with everybody on the panel. This is going to be a dope discussion, man. We're gonna, we have smart, the smart guy who's going to be talking on the hip-hop industry. But before we get into everything, man, I want to have him introduce himself. You know what I'm saying? Let him know where you're from and uh, what you got going on. And uh, just about yourself, man. Like, what's coming for you this year? And then we're going to get into everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, No, I mean, um, artist, rapper, motivational speaker, um, author. Shit, man. Um, And... What I'm focusing on now is just developing the uh, the black community, um, working extremely hard on just educating, you know, educating, you know, this generation on how to um, put themselves in a better position, just financially, spiritually, emotionally, um, economically. Um, and, yeah, I'm just doing a lot of community work and, and we taking it, you know, we taking it day by day. So, um, let me ask you, right, so, but you still doing music right now currently, or you, you stopped? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm definitely still doing music, and, and, you know, part in the energy, I'm not, you know, I'm not really a night, I'm not really a night owl, I'm definitely, <laughs> nah. past, <laughs> definitely yeah. past my bedtime, so I definitely mm-hmm. have more energy, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely still, I mean, come on, of course, you know, music, you know, music is, music is a part of me, I love music, music mm-hmm. is, is melodic therapy for me, and, you know, um, I'm independent, you know. I went gold. I went gold in the street, and the goal is to go platinum in the street. And we're and we're close. I'm still selling yep. CDs. I believe CDs are the plastic vinyl, um, and it, it still gives artists an opportunity to, to to monetize their music without without a record label. Do you do you do you think that the way that the industry is moving with these record labels pushing the uh, the drill music? Do you feel like it's better to be independent? Cause you'll have more freedom and probably more over your money. Right. See, okay. So first, so first you got to know, I don't support the music industry, right? You know, the music, mm-hmm. the music business is very, uh, satanic by, by nature. It's very demonic, the, uh, demonic. And, you know, they use music as a way to push different low vibrational, uh, uh, agendas. Um, especially in our community. And they, you know, back in the day, they use crack as a way to break down, black communities now they're using music as a way to break down our culture um mm-hmm. as a whole um so but in terms of like <clears throat> you know uh, uh 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 making it as an artist i i definitely mm-hmm. I, I don't support drill I, i'm not supporting spin the block and shoot the ops mm-hmm. and all this other silly shit right mm-hmm. so the thing about the thing about record labels is um they give artists 360 deals but they want ownership in every piece of your content but mm-hmm. they don't have they don't have an infrastructure in place that specializes in the content they want to own. So if Live Nation gives you a 360 deal, it's better than a regular label because Live Nation is a function is a Live Nation is a um is a touring company. So if you know if they want to have equity in your touring, at least they have an infrastructure in place that specializes in growing that that area. Um, but I think it's always in the artist's best interest to be completely uh, independent. No, uh, definitely, definitely. I mean, like I would recommend that as well, man. You know, because I mean, like a lot of the, a lot of your most talented people that I mean that I know is independent, like yourself. You know, like I know you and you independent. Yeah, for sure. See, but I'm like I'm gonna use this analogy, right? Yeah. McDonald's doesn't make money off the I'm loving it. They make money off burgers and fries. So mm. the I'm loving it is the jingle, which is the marketing tool, but the product is the burger and fries. And the reason why most artists, most creatives never make it is because they keep thinking that the marketing tools are the actual products. And mm. they're not using the marketing tool to promote a product that is either owned by them or owned by somebody else. So when you're independent, you learn that you 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 make money off of products, which is like merch, um, candles. Like I have a cosmetic company. Um, mm-hmm. I have soaps that that you know that I make, um, and I use music as a way to um, connect my my audience to the products that 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 I own. Mm-hmm. That's important. Yeah. So so and and as as artists, all my, I strongly suggest all the artists. To understand that your network is your network. Your network is your network. Definitely. If you 
if you can convert that net worth into actual financial transaction through mm-hmm. the form of direct to consumer. And then you scale over time and then you'll be in the best position financially. So small, let me ask you, right? Cause I know you're very tapped into what's going on. I know you don't listen to the drill music, but you are aware of like the depths of the rappers and everything of that nature. Mm-hmm. There was one guy, uh, I think it was Gunplay, matter of fact. He said something on somebody's channel about he actually likes the violence on the drill scene. Now, um, I don't think he was saying he likes the violence because he likes the violence that's going on, but I think he said he likes it because it's going to clean up the rap industry for the better rappers, I think, to come out is what he's trying to say. So what is, what's your intake on what he said in that interview that he had? Um, well, well, I could just give a general response to it. I mean, I think, I think we have to... I think we have to start creating our own industries, first mm-hmm. and foremost. I think we have to understand that hip-hop is one of the most powerful marketing tools on the planet. Definitely. And we have to start to create our own platforms so we can own and control our most powerful marketing tool, right? Um, mm-hmm. And then we need to start creating products that we market through that powerful marketing tool. Mm. So, so like... For example, like Clubhouse, you know how easy it is for us to build build a clubhouse. Black Def- people, if you look at the thumbnail for Clubhouse, th- for mm-hmm. Clubhouse, I see a black woman, right? On, yeah. on, on, on my phone, I see a black woman, right? And yeah. a lot of times we don't realize that we add value to these emerging new tech companies, mm-hmm. but we don't have no equity in the actual company, right? Mm-hmm. So. Def- we're, we're, we're promoting these companies without equity. We're growing these companies without equity only to have the same companies turn around and not invest back into our betterment or advancement. So, you know, what, what we have to begin to understand is how powerful we are, how powerful our voice is, whether it's in melody or, 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 or uh, 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 poetry, right? We have to understand how powerful we are and then start, you know, using these type of platforms as a way to connect with each other and then build yeah. our own platforms. Definitely. Now, let me ask you a question, right? What's your intake on clout chasing in the rap industry? Do you feel like there's any real talent already left over? You feel like everything is pretty much for clout or just for money? Like, no, because, like, there's not really that many lyricists out no more. Right, right. Um, um, I, I mean, I don't know. I think... I think people, I, I think a lot of, a lot of the, unfortunately, a lot of the younger artists, their, their understanding of success is a little bit distorted, and what they're fighting for really is to be heard and to be noticed, right? So mm-hmm. it's not just, it's not so much, I would say clout. I think is, I think it's like, you know, notoriety, and it's like brand awareness. So if we could get mm-hmm. these young, if we could get these young uh, artists to understand to stop chasing clout and focus mm-hmm. on brand awareness then you know these young these young artists who who, who 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 lives are being cut short can can be extended because now they're not chasing clout they're trying to create mm-hmm. brand awareness i'm in the process of actually creating my own industry and learning how to to, to build and develop technology right and mm-hmm. and again like i said earlier we have to stop giving these other platforms so much of our power. Everybody who has the clubhouse, right, mm-hmm. needs to figure out how to buy stock and purchase equity in clubhouse. Definitely. Um, I see some people asking questions in my back channel. Uh, so we got Brittany on the panel. She have a question to ask you. Uh, okay. She wants to know. Uh, she wants to know. Uh, um, how can a new artist get themselves out there with no previous experience but have some connections? I mean, you got to learn your game. Like, look, it's the music business, right? So, like I said earlier, music is a marketing tool. So once you understand music is a marketing tool, what are you actually marketing? And how is that music that is going to be used as a marketing tool relevant to whatever product that you have to market? You have to understand first the purpose of music. You have to get out of your creative mind and get mm-hmm. more into your uh, 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 economic, economic and business mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and music is not about having connections or anything like that. It's about um, identifying who your target audience is, 
which should be people who share the same interests as you and figuring out how can you connect to those people and what type of products do they want and how can you use your music as a way to make the products that they want cool and how can you either have equity in those products or actually create those products? Mm. Thank you. Anybody else on the stage would like to ask Smart any questions? Smiles, anybody? Uh, I was going to say, so what, what's your thoughts on like uh, artists owning their own masters and, and stuff like that? I mean, check it out, right? Like, only yeah, ownership is important. Um, it's not. I think we have to. I think the artists have to reverse the three hundred and sixty approach. I think the artists need to understand to have a three hundred and sixty sphere of ownership. So not only owning your masters, but owning the distribution channels that that music lives on. Not only owning the distribution channels, but actually owning the products that that music is being distributed to right like so it's not just about owning your masters it's about owning the platform that the music lives on so we need to build our own spotify's we need to build our own clubhouses and i'm talking about say we i'm talking about the artists the creatives, mm-hmm. especially melanated and black people we need to start building our own tech companies we need a chocolate silicon valley okay mm-hmm. mark zuckerberg and jewish people black people we invented the internet okay the internet cannot run without certain um, tools and resources from Africa. So we have to first understand, like, it's not just about owning our masters. It's yeah. about actually owning the whole uh, uh, industry. Right, right. Ooh, that was a nice answer. Then that's, uh, did he answer your question, Miles? you have anything else to ask on top of that one? No, not really. <laughs> Shit, that got, that got me. Yeah. So let me let me ask a smaller question. Cause I really want to kind of dig into this topic. Like, um, so uh, you see, like these rappers been either dying or going to jail, and every time um, somebody either gets killed, you know, what I'm saying it's like they don't they don't look at what happened to the last person to learn their lesson for themselves. Just like when Pop Smoke got clipped, I don't think people really learn from that situation or learn from like a six nine situation or anybody like that. Do you think it's because they don't have enough mentorship in their life to show them the right direction? No, I think I think it's because most the general public is conditioned to see things from a car view versus a helicopter view, right? Mm. The general public is conditioned to look at the tree, but not the, the seeds that's in the ground that actually gave life to that tree. The music mm. business is ran by a company called Vivendi. It's a French company, Viacom, right? You know, mm-hmm. so these companies are creating the environments and conditions that are destroying the minds of young people. So mm. it's not just about a top a, a, a pop smoke because it's about the company that actually distributes the music. It's about the company that actually clears the, the, the music, right? Like, why, why is it that um, we have to make music that is self-destructive in order for us to get some type of a financial opportunity? And who's actually creating these financial opportunities. Let me tell you something for all my artists out there. Record labels get their money from banks. There I said it. Wake up, motherfuckers. Record labels get their money from banks. Okay? Mm. So, which it takes about 18 months to 24 months to establish business credit. You have to show about two years of tax returns. So all my artists out there, understand your fucking business. You're dying when you can just go to a bank and get the same money that a record label was going to own your soul for uh, Mm. for free and without selling your soul. Mm. Okay? And when you understand the purpose of music, you know, you're not going to you're not going to make self uh, 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 sacrificial music for a a, a limited opportunity because the devil gives you today what he's going to take away tomorrow. So you kill yourself and sell your soul, but you lose it all in the end anyway. So what's so this is scripture. What benefit for a man to gain the world but lose his soul? What benefit mm. for a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Right. So you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, we love, we love Pop Smoke. May he rest in peace. But you know, Pop Smoke is is nothing more. He was nothing more than a piece on a chessboard. So we have mm-hmm. to understand who even put the chessboard in place. And Vivendi is the motherfuckers who did it all. Mm. Wow. Wow. And let me say, let me add to this, man. We got to, yeah. we, we have to stop living in a vibration of low self-esteem. We Definitely. have to stop living in a vibration of codependence. Self-reliance is a virtue. 
okay? Mm -hmm. We are the original people. And I'm talking about the ones with melanin in their skin. We are the original people. We create our own industries. We don't need nobody's approval. We don't wait for help. We are the help. So we have to start understanding who we are and then create music that's relevant to who we are. And then we're going to be on a vibration that is our original vibration. And then these rappers will live long lives instead of short lives. Mm, what do you think it would take for a rapper to get in that state of mind? Uh, meditation. Meditation. Mm -hmm. Meditation. Period. Meditation. Mm. Mm. That's, yeah, that is very important. Do you, Let me ask you, do you think this pandemic have a huge effect on this stuff of what's going on right now? No. I, listen, let me tell you something, man. Everything, listen, the, the COVID was just a catalyst to pass martial law. Okay? You mm. can't, like, you know, and, and I mean, it's off topic, but on topic, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, the definitely. Whatever the government is doing, they're trying to figure out whatever they're doing. Who fucking knows, right? Um, but when you see things like mass lockdowns and shit like that, listen, do you really think a, a, a dollar mask from a 99 cent store can protect you from an airborne virus? Are you fucking kidding me? That's a fact, yeah. It, it doesn't, all right? So um, whatever the government has in stores, it doesn't matter. Because even though man may plot, God is the best planner. So even though man may plot, God is the best planner. So I don't get, I don't worry about whatever was going on. You know, I put my faith in God. I stay focused. I live my life and take it day by day. And um, in these times, like within this new generation of artists and stuff of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Because I am seeing like, you know, some legends doing some collaboration with some of the new people, like, like Nas did a collab with Fabio. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had to do a collaboration with any artist right now, not necessarily drill artists, who would you do a collaboration with? Uh, 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 Britney. Wait, what do you mean? For oh, me? Brittany. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here thinking like, who? <laughs> Yo, Brittany, he said he do a collaboration with you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's dope, man. You know, Brittany got her own brand, too. Yeah, for but sure. But I don't think she's doing any men's gear right now. You don't doing any men's stuff, Brittany? No, I'm just ladies. Yeah, ladies for now. But I do yeah, sing. Yeah. I sing. Um, I'm actually going to come out with something this summer. So oh, that's I'm dope, see? That. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, uh, that's what I was talking about. So, Smart, you ever had a sing on any of your songs before? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, of course. I, I did a song with um Dylan Gonzalez uh, called Heaven. Oh, wow. I got to hear. Where can we find that song at? Uh, just type in Smart Heaven. It's, it's everywhere. Oh, it is? All right, I got to check that out. I feel like you have a voice that could reach a lot of people. Do you, like, what do you think it would take for Smart to reach a larger audience out here in New York or wherever? Do you I'm think... I'm already reaching them, though. Todd met me in the street. I sell CDs on 42nd Street. I still sell CDs. I sold 500,000 of my copies of my mixtape hand-to-hand, -hand, right? Um, So right. this is how you know everything I'm saying is true because I'm not giving you a, an opinion. I'm giving you everything that you can Google and fact-check on your own. If, 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 if you decide to do that, just just to say this, Ty, and me and Ty had a, had a conversation of this off Clubhouse. And this was the reason why I kind of wasn't really fucking with Clubhouse. Right. Um, Because of it's so easy for people to, to lose the focus um, and give opinions that take away from valuable information. And then it becomes like this argument and everybody's trying to mm -hmm. get, get their voice heard when it's like, um, let's backtrack. Vivendi, you can everything I said, you can Google it as I'm saying it. Vivendi runs the music industry. When you record labels get their money from banks, music is a marketing tool. McDonald's has a jingle, I'm loving it. They don't make money off the I'm loving it. They make money off the burgers and fries. Okay? If you nothing I said was cap. I didn't say, yo, hey man, you know, Drake is my homeboy. I got his number in my phone. Okay? I'm I'm giving you information and Ty because me and Ty has a relationship. Right, Thanks. he can get me at twelve fifty two in 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 the morning when I can be on Clubhouse with Jay Z. I can be a Clubhouse with any big person you want to name. That's I could be on it with him. You know, um, mm -hmm. I'm not for the industry. I'm for, shout out to I'm Britney. The, shout out to the, Lindsay, the, the ones who were smart enough to get the yeah. information and not worry about the messenger, but actually focus on the message. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. Todd brought me on to give up game, and this is what I do. Okay, I'm not I'm not a joke. I'm a self-made millionaire. I'm sitting in a fucking hundred and fifty thousand dollar car right now outside of my garage as we speak right now. This is no cap. And I'm saying that proudly because I didn't have to sell my soul to get it. It took me over 10 years to get it. It mm. took me a lot of hard work. It took a lot of reinforcement. It took Ooh. a lot of prayer. It took a lot of fucking crying. Okay, it took a lot of 
you know, burning bridges because if I had to cross that bridge and have some type of penis in my anus attached to crossing that bridge, I'm not going to cross that bridge. I'm actually going to have to fly over that motherfucker, right? So, you know, um you know, it, it, it's you know, it's it, it's not it's not easy. But when God puts the information in front of you, be smart enough to receive it. Facts. Oof. Oof. Man, yo, I don't oh know. My God, so, so good. I done clipped so many parts of what he was saying, man. <laughs> man, yo, right. smart. Um, you killing it, man. So listen, man. You know, listen, I, I man, I love you guys. Yo, top, man. I love yo, you. smart. I, I appreciate you for, for doing this, man, for coming in here, being a part yes. of this panel, you know, dropping sure. your wisdom and your dreams. And yeah, I, I appreciate everybody for Yo, yep. I'm gonna have my team. Look, I'm gonna have my team. I'm gonna have my management team reach out to you, Ty. And, 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 and you know, we're gonna get cracking on this clubhouse probably like in another week or so. We're gonna do it. Oh, man, it's going up. We're gonna do it, all right? <laughs> Let's I get it, man. Yo, smart. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah. the ass. Thank you, smart. Everybody give him a Yo, follow. Yo, Ty, seriously? That was dope. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I that know, was right? So Yo, man. Oh, my goodness. Told y'all, man. <laughs> People, people are gonna regret, regret not coming, so man. I paid so many people. People are stupid. I don't care. I have more time for me, yo. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys be the first to see my posts.